target part two. Right, target. Now that we have built a foundation with the target mark and cue, we now need to grab a second handler and a second target mark. Both handlers need treats and a clicker. The handlers will cue the dog target and send them to the opposite target. Each time the dog engages with the treat on the mark the handler will click. The opposite handler needs to place the treat as the dog turns and looks back. This is so that the dog is set up for success and through shaping can learn the process of targeting. This behavior needs quite a few repetitions to set them up for success. And as you will see there are several stages to get to the finished behavior. To fully shape the behavior and have success in the end behavior. Target Mark Part 2 Target is a great behavior for Canine Hoopers for building hoop value Agility for foundations and distance handling Building the dog's confidence in being able to work ahead of the handler independently and that pesky send away. These steps aid in making the target mark smaller for the send away. Working through shaping to fade the target mark entirely. And the treat in the area we are sending the dog away to. So that they can independently move away and are set up for success without relying on a target mark and a treat at the target. other end. Okay, well done. And complete a finished send away behavior setting both the handler and the dog up for success. Target mark part two. As the dog and handler feel more confident with the behavior we move on to the next stage. One handler removes their target mat, cues the dog to target, and clicks as they engage with the treat. Target. When the dog turns to come back, show them the treat and click when they engage with the treat. Not using a cue recall, as we don't want to confuse the dog, and this is one chain behavior, not several. So we want the dog to be able to pair the target mark with moving from the handler to the target mat eating the treat and coming straight back to the handler. By clicking and treating when they come back to us we reinforce this is the behavior we want. You can see Jungo is a little confused to begin with with only myself cueing him and Jamie fading his cue. This is why repetitions are important to build the dog's confidence in the behavior and so that they are confident in what they are doing. You see how he quickly has a light bulb moment and returns quickly to me and begins to ignore Jamie after a few reps. Target mark part two. Now that we have completed the previous steps, it is now time to think about the final steps of the behavior. This is a crucial part of the behavior, as we don't want to poison the cue or ruin the dog's confidence and all their hard work. So we are now going to begin fading the treat on the target mark. It is completely normal for tour dog to become confused or not understand. 
If your dog becomes confused or doesn't come back to the handler for the treat due to missing the treat on the target mark, you can go back a step. You can make an encouraging noise to prompt them to look at you and show them the treat and click as soon as they engage with the treat. Then have a treat on the target mat. Then miss a treat and then add a treat until you feel your dog is confident to have no treats on the target mat. If they struggle, go back a step. Repeat this process until they are confident and comfortable with the final behavior. Now you have your final behavior. You can now add in your hoop, agility equipment, or remove the target for the send away. Come back for part three.